name is Sunny Katz, my favorite color is glitter, and I am an adult child. I am currently living with my dad and sister in the quaint suburban community of Rancho Panisquitas, or as it is affectionately known to the locals, PQ. Scattered in between the residential track housing are five gas stations, two 7-Elevens, a Vons shopping center, and overabundance of yuppies and soccer moms. My dwelling is wedged between the Northeastern Police Substation and Mount Carmel High School, home of the Sun Devils and other unspeakable horrors. A few years ago, for reasons unbeknownst to the general population, the Rancho Penasquitas Planning Board got together and decided that we needed something to declare our greatness to the world. I can only imagine just how many visors, socks with flip-flops, cell phone holders over the jeans, velour jogging suits, and American flag t-shirts filled that room with suburban cheer. After money exchange hands, our streetlights became adorned with banners claiming that our community is in fact the jewel of Black Mountain. I don't know if this title was agreed upon because one of two major streets running through is Black Mountain Road, the middle school's name is Black Mountain Middle School, or for the actual Black Mountain that is the namesake for both. As far as I know, there have been no discoveries of precious gems on our hallowed grounds. That leads me to one conclusion. I am the jewel of Black Mountain. <laughs> the same turquoise carpet and purple walls I picked out when I was 13. No, I was not on any psychedelic drugs at the time. Psychedelic drugs would come later. I have since replaced the kitten posters and Jonathan Taylor Thomas pictures with anime posters, <laughs> naked women, and a giant dry erase calendar because I can never quite remember what the fuck I am supposed to be doing on any given day. My furniture has a littering of anime figurines, including a girl lifting up her dress, a girl sitting on the potty, and a girl hanging from a cross covered in tentacles. I don't have anything hanging from the ceiling, yet. But I do have a glow-in-the-dark hee-haw octopus on top of my blinds. It really sets the mood home when I bring something cute home to daddy's house. My dad, Marty Katz, is a, is a hippie, taekwondo instructor, and an accountant. He has also seen aliens and assures me that he was not on any LSD at the time. <laughs> I inherited my love of stupid people in action from my dad. And we strengthened this by watching cops together. <laughs> Marty does not tell me how to run my life per se, but he does have a lot of questions and instructions. Every time I receive any sort of car-related paperwork, it sets off some kind of dad alarm. <laughs> Within minutes, Marty is at my side. You have a special place for this in your car, right? Yes, Dad. Okay, well, make sure that you put this in your car right away. But make sure you take out the old paper first. <sighs> I know, Dad. Marty likes to make sure I'm staying on the right track. He also is very concerned about my hand hygiene. <laughs> Sonny, what are you making? I'm making a sandwich, Dad. A sandwich? Did you wash your hands? <laughs> yes, last week, Dad. The T9 on my cell phone spells out nasty instead of Marty. Giving my father, arguably, one of the greatest rat names of all time, Nasty Cats. <laughs> I don't know if he will ever put his MC name to use since Nasty hates rap, but it's there if he needs it. <laughs> As a teenager, my relationship with Dad was a bit on the volatile side. I was your typical hormonal adolescent with a mean streak that I unleash on my family. <laughs> I wasn't trying to compete for the title of world's biggest asshole, but it was easier to do that than reveal how sensitive I really was. When I was 19, mom passed away from breast cancer. Rather than succumbing to depression, dad embraced the role of essentially becoming a father again. It changed the way I interacted with him. I couldn't treat someone going through the same thing as myself as callously as I used to. I felt the need to protect my father. It was motivation for me to become someone he could be proud of. Even through my shitty teenage years, I have been constantly seeking daddy's approval. 
I have been keeping a secret from Marty for eight years. I have never gone to jury duty. Ever. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> all start out the same way. I open the letter, read the content, all with the pure intent of going. Maybe. And then I get to that part which states what time I need to get there. 6.45 a.m. Oh hell no. Sometimes I write excuses pertaining to work conflicts, which may or may not be true due to the gaps in my employment history. Look, at 19, smoking pot and watching the Wiggles was a fucking job. Other times I just have my secretary file them directly in the trash. The last time I received notice, I, decide, I decided to try out being honest. I said that I was mentally ill. So there very well might be a warrant out for my arrest. I will handle this situation with a glowing sense of responsibility, which marks all the grown-up situations I find myself in. I will pull a shaggy and breezily say it wasn't me. I bring this skeleton out of the closet, all with the understanding that this will result in it with an absolute dad out within the next 24 hours. I decided at 25 it was time to put on my parachute, jump out of the mothership, and start a colony of my own. I took up residency in Claremont with three of my girlfriends in what can only be described as a total bachelorette pad. In my mind, the move initiated phase one of sequence adulthood. In actuality, I hit the self-destruct button code, live every week like it's spring break. <laughs> I was working two jobs and going to school when the spirit moved me. Not often. And I used these facts to justify my ever-increasing drinking and drug use. I felt I was well within my rights to put unlimited Cheetos and other unspeakable substances in my body since I was able to pay all of my bills on time. When I'd been living at Marty's, I had to go to the party. Now, the party had come to me. At 26, I threw myself a kick-ass birthday party with the theme, ass, titties, freedom. <laughs> Three things that I still feel painfully strong about. I decided the best way to decorate would be with various pro-America pictures I found on Google image search and suggestive photographs of myself. My roommate Stephanie volunteered to utilize her photo printer at work and saved me an awkward and possibly illegal trip to Kinko's. Things kicked off at about 9 p.m. and my eight ball ran out about three hours into it. Time flies when you're putting shit up your nose. The night went off without a hitch, as far as I remember. Nobody died, nobody got arrested, and I didn't get anyone pregnant as far as I remember. <laughs> the house, however, was a different story. Everything conspired to break at the same time. A plumber came over and I was very inconvenienced that I had to be the one to let him in. The shower drain had revolted and was causing the person bathing to stand ankle deep in dirty pigeon gray water. <laughs> the garbage disposal had thrown up all over the place and had a horde of flies living in it. And to top it off, one toilet had a mountain of coke duke in it, and was impossible to flush. <laughs> Basically, my dwelling required a hazmat suit to walk through it. All I could think about was getting my hair done. A few months later, my roommates embarked on new paths. Stephanie offered to look into two-bedroom apartments with me, but I declined, stating that I wouldn't be able to afford it. My reasons ran deeper than that. I was 26 years old and really needed my daddy. When he went into hyper dad mode, I thought I didn't need it. I'd been on my own for less than a year when it became blindingly obvious I had been in denial and that I needed those helpful dad instructions. In fact, I had been in denial about a couple of things. I packed up my shit, took the straw out of my nose, threw the bottle at the wall, and humbly asked dad if I could come back home. And with that, the jewel returned to Black Mountain. <laughs> <laughs>